hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity and today we're creating this beautiful pink top it's so so easy to follow through and i promise you it's a very very easy tutorial it's sassy trendy and this is how it looks i put this decoration here at the front and i put two shelves and also you can wear this top as an off shoulder and this is how the back looks it has buttons at the back and please remember to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and also i love reading your comments so let's get started with the tutorial you will need your bust measurements that's all you'll need and this is the close-up of the top and this is how the back looks okay so take your bust measurements and i am using a hundred percent acrylic yarn and this is thin yarn so i will double my yarn to get the medium weight effect you'll need a tape measure to take your measurements and i'm crocheting using a 4.0 mm hook you'll need stitch markers a darning needle and a pair of scissors to begin as I said, I'm doubling my yarn to get the medium weight effect. You begin by making a slip knot. And this is how I make my slip knot. And then you'll chain as long as your bust measurement is. My bust measurement is 32 inches. So I'm chaining all the way to 32 inches. Okay. So do your chains and I'll meet you once you're done. I'm done with my chains and this is how it looks. And to create this top, our main stitch will be half double crochets. Chain, skip, sorry, skip the first two stitches from the hook. And on the third stitch, we are making a half double crochet crochet and we are creating this top using half double crochets it's our main stitch and for now we are working half double crochets across all the chains that you'll have and i will meet you at the end of this first row Done with row one of half double crochets and this is how my work looks to begin row two chain two one two turn your work and you're starting to work from the first stitch go in there and put a half double crochets and do half double crochets across all the stitches that you'll have and I'll meet you at the end of this second row. okay i went ahead and did a few more rows and remember to begin a new row you chain two and this is how my top looks as for now and we're going to do the button holes first okay so basically the pattern was half double crochets all through once you get to the measurement that you want you will do a button hole okay and to begin doing the button hole first you chain two then you skip the first two stitches 
from the hook after chaining two skip the first two stitches and on the third stitch you'll go in there and make a double crochet like that okay and then go ahead and make double crochets in each stitch until you get to the middle of your top and you will do another button hole okay i'm really hoping this is clear so we are doing normal double crochets without skipping until you get to the middle of the top and we will do another button hole I'm at the middle of my top and I want to do a second um, button hole so chain two yarn over skip two stitches and on the third stitch you'll go in there and make a double crochet okay like that make a double crochet and once you have your button hole You'll continue with normal double crochets until you get to two stitches to the bottom of your work. And again, you will make a third um, button hole. So I'll meet you once you are having two stitches to the end of your work so that we create another button hole. I am at the end and we are creating our last buttonhole as I said you're going to leave two stitches to the end and chain two once you have two stitches left chain two and go to the last stitch there like that and create a double crochet like that and this is how we make the buttonholes but now we want to reinforce the buttonholes you will chain two turn your work and we are now doing edging yarn over go inside the first button hole like that and do the first double crochet yarn over again do another double crochet inside the button hole and a third double crochet inside the button hole that's how we are reinforcing the button holes and then once you have done that you just go ahead and do normal double crochets in each stitch that you have until you get to the second button hole and we'll do the same thing which is three double crochets in the button hole okay Okay, I'm at the second um, button hole. Yarn over, go inside the button hole like that and do the first double crochet. Do the second double crochet inside the button hole and a third double crochet inside the button hole. And you can see it's really reinforced. Then go ahead and do normal double crochets until you get to the third um, button hole and you'll do the same same thing okay so do that and i'll meet you at the end of this row
okay i'm done with my last uh ribbing at the button hole and now we want to work on the shell stitches okay immediately once you're done with the double crochets we'll go in the next stitch and make our first shell stitch to make a shell stitch you will put six double crochets in one stitch so that is two go ahead and put a third one a fourth one in the same same stitch okay we're just putting six double crochets in one stitch yeah so that is it and you can see that is our first shell stitch to complete that shell stitch go to the sec next stitch and do a slip stitch like that that is how we complete our shell stitch yarn over skip two stitches on the third stitch that's where we're going to do the next shell stitches so skip two on the third stitch go in there and put six double crochets okay that is how we work on the shell stitches and we are putting six double crochets in one stitch and please always make sure after the slip stitch you skip two and on the third stitch that's where you put the second shell stitch okay so i'm just completing up on the second shell stitch and then we will move to the next shell stitch i'm hoping this tutorial is quite clear and it's well elaborated i am done with my second shell stitch to complete that go to the next stitch like that and finish up by doing a slip stitch then yarn over skip two stitches go to the next stitch and do a shell stitch okay and as i said to do a shell stitch we are making six double crochets in one stitch okay so do that and i'll meet you once you're done with your shell stitches finished my shell stitch and i went ahead and stitched in three buttons you can put four for convenience and i put one of the arms i will show you how to do that in a few so go ahead and stitch in your buttons and to create the arms make sure you take your upper arm measurement and we're using half double crochets the same way that we did so just take your upper arm measurements and this is how much i chained and it's 15 inches long making just make sure it goes all the way around your upper arm okay and make two of them once you have two of them we are going to join it at the edge but before you join it at the edge first you will join the arm like this using a darning needle so that it becomes round okay 
just join the arm and then we will reattach it to the garment. I am done joining and this is how my work looks and now we want to put it at the garment please turn your garment on the wrong side up this is our wrong side so it should be up while joining and make sure it's well aligned it should be in the middle the buttons part should be the middle of your garment and we are joining the arm to the garment and also the arm should be wrong side up okay both the um the two garments should be wrong side up take your stitch marker and put it at the corner of your garment put it here where we have been joining and then join it to the corner of your garment please make sure it's at the corner you can use your tape measure to make sure it's half half okay so that your arms are not misplaced okay once you have that in place we will use um darning needle to join everything together so please remember it's wrong side up and this is our wrong side fold your work like this and we want to join we are joining from this corner to this corner and i am using a darning needle to join okay from this corner here up to this corner here take your darning needle and stitch in the arm to the body and that's how we do it okay Done joining my arms to the garment, and I went ahead and chained a um, hundred and twenty chains, and I want to stitch it in to our garment. So turn your garment wrong side up again. Remember, this is the back side, and this is the front side. We want to put this string or that drawstring that makes the beautiful um, folding in the front of our garment okay so make sure once when you have your um, chains leave a long chain for putting in the drawstring to the garment and i'm still using my darning needle to put it in first you'll put on this one side and please put the drawstring in each stitch like this just make sure the drawstring is in the middle then 
put one side and make sure you put on each um stitch and we'll put it all the way to the bottom once you're done you'll come to this other side and also put it up to the bottom okay and that is how we put the middle drawstring to our top that makes our top looks quite nice so do that and i will meet you once you are done okay i am done and this is how our top looks i went ahead and put in the shell the shells at the bottom just to make my top look more nice and i got these shells from zanzibar so <laughs> it's just so nice this is how my top looks i'm hoping you enjoyed this tutorial please remember to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and i also love reading your comments i love you guys so much take care of yourselves and see you in my next video goodbye